Hi, welcome to our Storytime Online program. Did you just hear that? It sounded like somebody sneezed. Was it you? Was it me? Was it you? Shoo! Oh dear, do you have a cold? No. Do you have allergies? Oh, that's what happens sometimes in the spring and sometimes in the summer and the fall. It gets you sneezing, doesn't it? Well, we've got stories all about sneezing today. So let's get started with our first one. It's called The Big Sneeze. This is written by Ruth Brown. She did the illustrations and it's published by Lothrop Lee and Shepherd. Looks like we're going to be down by the farm. One hot afternoon, the farmer and his animals were dozing in the barn, and the only sound was the buzz, buzz of a very lazy fly. Oh, my goodness. Suddenly, the buzzing stopped. The fly landed right on the end of the farmer's nose. How do you think that felt? Ah, shoo! The farmer sneezed so hard that the fly was blown high up into the spider's web. This disturbed the spider, who captured the fly. which alerted the sparrow, who chased the spider. This wakened the cat, who leaped at the bird, which woke up the dog and frightened the rats. Who fled from the barn, chased by the dog, which scattered the startled hens from their roost and panicked at the terrified donkey. Oh, look at him kicking. What on earth have you done? shrieked the farmer's wife. Nothing, my dear, said the farmer. I only sneezed. What a mess that called. All right, well, let's do a finger play. Not about sneezing, but maybe about some monkeys who are being a little silly, jumping on their bed. I've got five little monkeys, they're jumping on the bed. When one fell off, well, he bumped his head. His mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So four little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Well, Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So three little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So that means two little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Well, Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So that left one little monkey jumping on the bed. When she fell off, well, she bumped her head. Her mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Well, our next story is called, I Love to Sneeze. It's written by Ellen Schechter and illustrated by Gioia Fiamengi. I hope I pronounced that right. It's published by Bantam Little Rooster Books. Ah, I love to sneeze. 
I throw back my head and bend my knees. I take a big, deep breath. I can't say no. I cover my mouth and then I let go. Ah, 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 chew! But whenever I sneeze, ice cubes unfreeze. Lap shades go sailing into the breeze. Cups go flying and carpets and keys. I even scramble up the ABCs. My sneeze blows the whiskers clean off the cat. It irons the sheets even and flat. Phones lose their ring. Jars start to jog. My sneeze blows the fleas right off of the dog. Here they go. My sneeze scares the buzz right out of the bees. It blows all the leaves back onto the trees. My sneeze sends the swing on a sky ride and blows all the children back up the slide. My sneeze blows the baseball back to the bat. It knocks all the letters right off my hat. It blasts the umpires up to the skies and splatters the ketchup off my french fries. My sneeze knocks the clowns out of their socks and makes Jack jump back into his box. Stripes peel off zebras, horses go flying. One tiny sneeze starts the crocodile's crying. My sneeze makes the roosters crow out of tune and blows all the cows over the moon. One little sneeze and the ducks lose their quacks. My sneeze plucks the feathers right off of their backs. My sneeze dries the seas, turns the moon to green cheese, makes the octopus squeeze and tickles the keys. Makes butter fly, makes freckles jump noses, and blows the red right out of the roses. That's pretty powerful. Hmm. Ah, I love to sneeze. I throw my, my head and bend my knees. I take a deep breath. I can't say no. I cover my mouth and then I let go. Ah, 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 chew. Excuse me, please. I just love to sneeze. Well, that's pretty silly, isn't it? All right, well, let's do another finger play. And I think we could do one about, hmm. Let's see. Can you get yourself a Kleenex? One that hasn't been sneezed into or blown into? We're just going to wave it. I wave my Kleenex high. I wave my Kleenex low. I wave it in the middle and then hold it just so. I wave it to the left. I wave it to the right. I wave it all around my head and then put it out of sight. Should we do that again? I didn't really give you much time to go get a Kleenex. You can also do it with a scarf or something like that. But I'm going to use a Kleenex. I wave my Kleenex high. I wave my Kleenex low. I wave it in the middle and then hold it just so. I wave it to the left, I wave it to the right, I wave it all around my head and then put it out of sight. And I apologize if left and right don't show right. I can never remember when I'm doing a recording, whether it's the, my real left or your left. All right, well, tuck that aside in case you need it later. Our next story is called Elephant Story. 
This is written by Tracy Campbell Pearson. She also does the illustrations and it's published by Margaret Ferguson Books, which is a division of Farrar, Strauss and Guru. The day Gracie lost her favorite book, Elephant found it. Sniff, 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 and oops, the words went up his trunk. They wiggled and jiggled and squiggled inside. Elephant sneezed, ah, ah, ha, choo, and letters flew everywhere. Elephant tried to put the letters back into words, but they were all mixed up. He went to his friends for help. Alligator wanted to eat the letters. Seal wanted to juggle the letters. The monkeys wanted to toss the letters. Bear just wanted to sleep. Poor elephant. His friends were no help at all. He sniffed the letters back into his trunk and went home. Along came Gracie. She was looking for her book and there it was. Elephant was sitting on it. Gracie looked at the empty book. She looked at Elephant. Where are my words? She asked. Oh, Gracie pulled and pulled and pulled. You remember where the words were, right? And when that didn't work, she tickled his trunk. An elephant sneezed. Ah, 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 choo! He showered Gracie with letters. Gracie showed elephant how to make the letters into words. And together they put the words back in the book. Once upon a time, there was, that makes sense. And then Gracie read the words to Elephant. Once upon a time, there was, and she added some words of her own, a girl named Gracie who made a new friend. His name was Elephant. And do you see what elephant is doing here? He's stretching himself into all of the letters of the alphabet. I didn't know he could do that, but he did. All right. Well, can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out? Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake. Shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. Now can you clap, clap, clap your crazies out. Clap, clap, clap your crazies out. Clap, clap, clap your crazies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out. Stretch, stretch. Stretch your stretchies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you stand up so you can jump, jump, jump your jiggles out? Jump, jump, jump your jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump your jiggles out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you yawn? Yawn your sleepies out, yawn. Ooh. 
Yawn your sleepies out, yawn. Yawn your sleepies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. Well, our next story is going to be a noisy story. It's called Slop Goes the Soup a noisy warthog word book. It's written by Pamela D. Edwards and illustrated by one of my favorites, I've said this before, Henry Cole, and it's published by Hyperion Books. Do you know what a warthog is? You probably have seen them. In the Lion King, there was a warthog. Mm -hmm. And this is Achoo! Goes the warthog. Slop goes the soup. Slither goes the hooves. Wobble goes the bird cage. Crash goes Uncle Fred. Clatter goes the table. Whoosh goes the teddy bear. Plop goes the pudding. Giggle. <laughs> giggle, 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 giggle. It's so funny. Slurp. Go the tongues. Rattle goes the bucket. Splash goes the water. Swish goes the mop. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Ding dong goes the doorbell. Oh, look, they're coming in. Somebody has a pie. Somebody has some bread. Somebody has some jam. Mm. Gulp goes the soup. <gasps> Choo! Uh oh. And have you ever noticed, they're asking here on this last page, some words sound just like the noise that they are describing. It's called, this is a fancy word, onomatopoeia. Which word would you use to make the sound of a balloon bursting? Pop. Or a ball falling down some stairs. Bumpity, bumpity, crunch. Lots of fun sounds when that soup went slop. Well, I'm going to have us do our finger play about something we like to eat. Can you get your hot dogs ready? I've got my five little hot dogs and they're cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. So four little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Three little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Two little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. One little hot dog is cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and the one went bam. So no little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and the pan went bam. Well, our last story kind of takes us back to our first one where we had a whole bunch of animals in a barn and we're going back to a barn in this one. This is called The Fleas Sneeze. It's written by Lynn Downey and illustrated by Carla Firehammer and is published by Henry Holden Company. And there's the flea. You know where he probably came from, right? 
on a dark, dark night on an old, old farm. In a rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, everyone slept peacefully. There was a rat, a cat, and a black-eyed bat, a cow, and an owl, and a feathered fowl, a dog, and a hog, and an old barn frog. Everyone slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard him cough. <coughs> Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard him. <laughs> Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard his garbled plea. Does anybody have a tissue, please? Not even the mouse that he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog, they all slept peacefully, but not the flea. Then suddenly, before he could cover his snoot, Achoo! Why, it scared the rat, who cried, oh -hoo! and woke the cat, who hissed, Maro! It baffled the bat, whose eyes turned blue, and confused the cow, who muttered, moo, moo. It outraged the owl, who hollered, hoo, hoo, and flustered the fowl, who crowed, cock a doodle doo. It daunted the dog, who barked, woo, woo and sprayed the hog who screamed you and reminded the frog of his old nephew but the mouse the flea used for a house kindly gave him a tissue and the flea wiped his nose and before his eyes had even closed he began to doze and for all the rest of that dark, dark night on the old, old farm in the rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, everyone slept peacefully. The flea and the mouse that he used for a house, the rat and the cat and the black-eyed bat, the cow and the owl and the feathered fowl, even the dog and the old barn frog, everyone slept just like a log except for the hog. No one heard his garbled wheeze. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Well, can you wiggle your fingers and your toes and your shoulders? Don't forget your nose. Can you wiggle your elbows and Slap your knees and stretch your arms out while we get ready, please, for our final story on the flannel board. And this is called Ba Choo. So if it's got a ba in it, what animal do you expect you'll see first? If you said the sheep, you're right. I've got a cold, said Sam the lamb. I'm going to sneeze, indeed I am. His little nose twitched and wiggled and itched. Bah, ah, no chew. I've got the ah, but not the chew. No, 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 this sneeze will never do. Can someone help me, help me please, to find the ending for my sneeze? I'll tickle your nose with a feather. 
and then I'm sure you'll sneeze, said Gwen the hen. So she tickled his nose, and Sam said, here goes. Ah, 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 no chew. Gee, said Sam, that didn't feel right. It felt almost, but then not quite. Can someone help me, help me please, to find the ending for my sneeze? Well, Sig the pig said, I have a plan. We'll sprinkle some pepper in front of this fan. Let's put the fan on the other side so when they sprinkle, it'll go towards him, right? So let's do this. Sam, stand over there and stick out your nose and sniff wherever the pepper goes. So Sam sniffed and snorted and snuffed, huffed and puffed with his nose all stuffed. The pepper went flying. Sam kept on trying. Ba, ha. No chew. Gee, said Sam, this isn't much fun. Why can't the sneeze be over and done? Can someone help me, help me please to find the ending for my sneeze? Well, Franny Nanny Goat came by and said that she would like to try. I'll kick up dust, and so she did, with a little help from her kid. The dust was thick. Sam started to wheeze, and then at last he started to sneeze. This time it was bigger and louder and longer. Instead of stopping, it just got stronger. Quick, everyone, do whatever you can. Gweb and her feather. Sig turned on his fan. Together they tickled and sprinkled and kicked made to make the big sneeze grow. Then someone cried, look out, look out. I think he's going to blow. So, believe me, when I say is true, no lamb has ever sneezed a louder chew. Ha, 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 shoo! Thank you, friends, said Sam the lamb, for coming to the rescue. And Sam heard them say from far away, you're welcome, Sam, and bless you. So that was quite the sneeze. I hope that my friend here won't sneeze again. But thank you for enjoying our stories about sneezing. Can you all say achoo with me? We'll say ah. Ah, ah, we'll see you another time for some more stories. Bye-bye.